Hello everybody, we are back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild, and today we are going to start up our grind for Rocky Mountain Elk. Now the main reason that I am starting up this grind right now is because I need to learn all of these brand new drink zones so that I can make you guys a full drink zone guide for the Rocky Mountain Elk, and I figured in the process we might as well attempt to try and get ourselves some albinos or possibly even a super rare if we can possibly accomplish that as the albino rocky elk is one of my favorite rares in the entire game and I really do think that they are just absolutely beautiful and I would love to have more of them in my lodge so today we are going to start grinding for some and hopefully we can find all of our drink zones in the meantime so that I can make a fully fleshed out guide for you guys in the future. I also did just real quickly want to mention that we have not stopped doing the reindeer grind. We will get back to that at some point, but because of this new update and SRP's uh, rework being one of the main focuses of it, I wanted to spend more time hunting on Silver Ridge Peaks than other maps at the current moment, so we will get back to the reindeer eventually, but for now we're going to be doing herd management on Rocky Mountain Elk instead, since uh, we might as well try the herd management on them since we're not going to be doing the reindeer grind right now uh, but we will get into that eventually like i was saying we will get back to the reindeer grind but for now we're going to be doing it with the rocky elk since right now they are really the thing that i am most interested in with this update ah typical morning on silver ridge peaks uh, everything fleeing from mountain lions and that actually is a dilute buck that i believe is considered a rare nowadays and of course it's being chased off by a mountain lion so uh, we should probably deal with that problem if we can, and maybe if he'll just stop right here. And, of course, he ducked our bullet. There we go. We did manage to get a shot into him. That is just quite unfortunate. We find a dilute mule deer, and, of course, it gets spooked off. That uh, seems to be the trend here on Silver Ridge Peaks now. Everything being spooked by mountain lions. And is that what I think it is? Of course it's another one. Well... Yeah, I'd say it's safe to say we're not going to be getting that dilute today, but uh, we'll probably come back at another time and attempt to at least find it again and get it on the ground, because it actually was kind of a small one, to be honest, and that makes it even more cool. But uh, yeah, with all of these running around, it's really not going to be possible to take down that dilute as of now. Another one. Are you kidding me? Oh, man. These mountain lions are really becoming a problem. We should probably do something about that at some point. Maybe if we shoot them enough in the areas that we've been that we've been finding them and having issues with them spooking stuff off, maybe we can get them to move. Because, uh, yeah, this is definitely a problem having so many of them around the lakes that I'd like to be hunting. For guys like this instead of uh, mountain lions. But there is the first of the mountain lions that attacked uh, everything in sight. 36-26. And then the other one is down here a little bit further. That female, unfortunately, we did not hit vitally, so it's probably going to run quite a ways before it dies, but this guy right here dropped pretty much on the spot. 37.05 on the score for him. But now we continue on, and I do believe that right there is a piebald Rocky Mountain Elk. And if that is, that's one of the biggest piebald Rocky Elk I think I've ever found. Oh my gosh, that is actually crazy big. Now, piebald elk are definitely not the most rare of the rares, but they still are considered a rare. Just one of the more common ones, similar to a piebald whitetail, but that is something we definitely need to take down. That is an absolute beauty right there. There's a few others in the herd that we should also probably try to take down, but that guy's definitely our main focus. Look how beautiful that thing is. And though I have been hunting the Rocky Mountain Elk a decent bit since the SRP update, most of it's been done in multiplayer, so other than a couple of zones, I haven't really searched too much here in single player. Which means there could be more things like this on our map. Hopefully a diamond, maybe we could even find an albino or another piebald. But this guy is going to be a fantastic start to the day, and I think we're going to go ahead and take him down right now. Let's just 0 to 300 and pull the trigger. And that is a beautiful elk on the ground. Well, I'll be. It looks like we actually will not have to wait to take this guy down as he did finally stop. Though he is nervously eating, which is probably meaning that he wasn't intended to uh, go to this location. 
but considering the mountain lion spooked him, he just happened to stop there and start eating with the rest of his herd, but usually if they're nervously eating after being spooked, it's probably not in their actual zone. Even though it says that they are eating, they probably had a feed zone somewhere up in this area, but because they got spooked, they just started eating at the nearest location that they ended up. This has really quickly turned into one of the more interesting hunts we've had in a while. It is starting off quite crazy compared to some of the other recent hunts we've done. In fact, I've had some pretty tough luck in Call of the Wild over the last month when it comes to diamonds and rares that aren't a red deer. So this has been a really nice start to this grind and we've actually had a pretty decent start to this update as well as you guys saw in the last couple Call of the Wild videos we did. We got a diamond elk and we also got a diamond pronghorn but uh we haven't had any good rare luck recently and it's nice to see that we've got ourselves a beautiful piebald right here. Like this thing is one of the nicer piebalds that I've found and honestly even better looking than my troll piebald that I got and another thing that's really interesting that I wanted to point out is this guy scored at the very bottom of the estimate which is not a common thing for rares most of the time they score at the very top of the estimate but I immediately knew that this guy wasn't going to based on how crazy high the estimate was but it is very interesting to see that we finally got another one that scored at the lower end of the estimate as it's just not super common to see that but that has to be the most beautiful piebald elk we've ever killed because like I said even the troll piebald that we got that scored like 460s or 450s or whatever it did score it didn't even look this nice it had one of those really like wonky looking level 5 racks and I honestly just like the way this 4 looks better. And as for that other one that we shot in this herd, I don't think it was a vital hit, so it probably will not die. So we're just going to move along and see if we can find something else to take down, like this guy right here. And I do believe what I'm going to do for the herd management for Rocky Elk is shoot everything except for level 2s and level 1s. Because level 2s actually do spawn quite commonly, and if we can get a bunch of 2s on the map, I could really see that driving up the average score of our respawns quite a bit. And since we've been talking about herd management a decent bit in this video so far, I think it's only fair that I do tell you guys to go check out the herd management guide that I've done in the past about the red deer, as I have very successfully herd managed my red deer to the point where I get a diamond every 20 to 30 kills and have got two super rares as well as a few different troll level 9 uh, rares as well. So it definitely does work and it can be pretty crazy if you manage to do it correctly. And uh, the red deer have been a major example of that for me. So I definitely recommend checking out the herd management guide that I made if you guys have not already. You know, in a lot of cases with the Hunter Call of the Wild, I find it very interesting to see how each individual views each of the species in the game. And one of the biggest examples of that is with these now rares that used to be uncommons and how different people see them. Like personally, that piebald elk that I killed, though a while ago that would have been a somewhat common thing to come across, nowadays it actually is truly rare. But then you have the same case with the mule deer here where they are now considered a rare for the dilutes, but they didn't used to be. And because of that, I'm just not really too keen on taxing these guys. Even though they technically are rare now, I really don't think I'll tax this guy. But with the elk, because of how nice it looked, I ended up taxing it anyway. But I, I think we're going to go ahead and just leave this one. He's not very big and I nowadays kind of tend to only keep the larger trophies of uh, most of the rares that I find super commonly just because of how many random animals I have lying around in my trophy manager that never even get put into a lodge just because there's not enough room in the current uh, lodges that they have released. But this guy is still pretty cool looking. We'll get a couple screenshots and uh, move along. And as with uh, any grinding video, we're not going to show every single animal that I shoot as I'm going to be shooting a lot of low levels like threes and uh, some of the smaller fours that just aren't necessarily the most interesting thing to watch be taken out. So we're probably just mainly going to show off stuff like the level fours and of course if we find some fives we'll show off some of those as well. And down goes another nice level 4 along with a level 3. 
It's nice to see that there is still some elk at this lake, as this used to be one of the greatest Rocky Mountain elk lakes in all of Silver Ridge Peaks. It's awesome to see that you can still get elk here. Uh, definitely not as many as I'm used to seeing before the rework, but it's uh, nice to see that there was still a couple of them, and also a black bear. You know, we might as well shoot it just to passively work towards a great one at some point, and I suppose if I keep shooting them while I'm hunting stuff like elk, then at least we're making some progress towards a potential great one. That is a pretty big level 4, I would not be surprised if that one's got a chance at making diamond. This is by far the biggest one that I've found since we started the grind up. We also have our first level 2 of the day, so he gets to live. If we can, we'll take out some of these other ones though. Uh, we will start using this stand, I think. I probably will end up leaving it here as it's actually placed pretty well for the purpose of taking down these elk over here. Actually, I take that back. Yeah, we're gonna have to move this at some point. But, uh, it used to be good, but it seems they might have added a couple trees here that weren't there before. As I no longer have a clear shooting lane. But, uh, let's go ahead and try to take this guy down if we can, as he does look to be pretty nice looking. And we're also gonna take down that three, and, uh, this guy will get to live for now. And we somehow didn't vitally hit that elk. Well, that's disappointing. Or did we? Well, we definitely did that time, so I think regardless, we will be okay. Man, I've been seeing a lot of wonky elk today. This guy is definitely the most wonky of all of them. Just some strange elk all around in these areas, and we've actually had quite a few of them around here. Three Rocky Mountain Elk zones, and each of them had some bulls, so this is going to be a pretty solid lake to grind, provided it stays like this the whole time. You know, I'm just not liking what I'm seeing here. After a second shot, it's still just a low bleed rate. I hope this wasn't a level 4 diamond, because if it was, then... There's a good chance that we just messed it up, and that would be a terrible way to start out this grind. It's really looking like we didn't vitally hit this. It ran so far. Yeah, this is going to be a major disappointment, I can already tell. But let's go ahead and pick it up. I just hope that it's not as bad as it seems. Though, maybe this isn't even a diamond now that I look at it, but I guess we'll see. Okay, thankfully it wasn't a diamond. 467, we did mess it up. First shot hit the spine, and second one somehow hit back. I'm going to assume that it started moving. In fact, it looks like it does. Maybe it just hadn't started the animation for us, so it looked like it wasn't moving, but that's unfortunate regardless. Oh my gosh, I move out of the area, and just immediately we've got a ton more elk over there. Yeah, this area is kind of insane. We are definitely going to have to get a tent set up on this side so that we can better take those down, or at least, at the very least, put a stand over here. Well, there we go. That guy's got a little better chance of making diamond than that last one did, and there's also a decent three in there with him, as well as another three, a three, and another three, so he's the only thing good out of this group, but I'd say that's a pretty good chance of being a very big diamond. That looks way nicer than that level 4 did. You know, this has been quite the crazy hunt already. We're just starting on this grind and we have so many good things on the map. Now, I'm really hoping that we will manage to get ourselves an albino sooner than later, but you know, for now I'm okay with the amount of other cool things that we have been finding instead. And you know, I think I'm going to start using a tree stand here, provided it'll let me place one. Wow! I can't actually place a tree stand here. That is kind of shocking. Well, I made a pretty big rookie mistake, and I uh, went ahead and placed down the tripod in a different spot and spooked everything off. So, yeah, that's unfortunate. We're gonna have to probably go reset the time and wait for them to come back, as it is towards the end of the drink time. So. Yeah, we're gonna have to wait for that thing to come back. Oh, wow, that was quick. I reset the time and they were immediately back here, so that is going to make this a whole lot easier for us, as we don't have to wait for them to make it back to this zone, as they were already here when I reset the time. That should be a much better hit on that guy, and we will attempt to get down a couple others as well. Yeah, it's a much 
much better hit than what I was expecting to get on him. So that is beautiful. Definitely a lot better than what we ended up getting on that last one. That uh, level four, we just sadly did not end up hitting good. And because of that, it would have been ruined if it had ended up making diamond. Yeah, there we go. That is definitely a much better hit than what we ended up getting on that level four diamond potential earlier, which is uh, great to see. I hope this guy ends up making it. He definitely looks to be much larger than that four was. So I would imagine this one might even score over 500. And if we could get it to score above 509, I believe it would be my personal best as currently the highest scoring Rocky Elk I've ever killed was 509 and I actually ended up getting two of them that scored right on 509. So if we can get this guy to be bigger, that would be huge. And it is the brown fur type as well, which is just a really cool fur type. So let's see. The more I look at him up close, the more I'm not sure. I'm still trying to figure out what the different sizes of brow tines, or not brow tines, but uh, back tines mean. So I guess we'll find out shortly, but this one is looking like... I don't think it's going to be 500, but I think it'll make it. 503! Okay, so it barely made 500, and that is a wide one. That is actually a very wide diamond. I can't say I've killed one that looks quite like this. So that's really cool. And definitely the least expected thing for the day is we were just trying to discover all of our zones and kind of get an idea of where we need to place our tents and stuff like that. And we've managed to get a piebald and a diamond Rocky Mountain Elk as well as just a random dilute mule deer. This has turned into a pretty awesome day and a really good first hunt for the Rocky Mountain Elk. And by first hunt, I obviously mean first real Rocky Mountain Elk hunt on our map that is just specifically for them and not for like a guide video or multiplayer or anything like that. So we're off to a pretty good start on our own map. And now let's head over to the final spot of the day. This was a really good spot in the previous updates for Silver Ridge Peaks. There was always tons of elk over at this lake and this was by far one of my best ones when it came to lots of bull elk. So. I'm hoping it'll be the same this time. I can't remember if we ended up going here in multiplayer. I think I visited it a couple times, but wasn't able to find too much for elk. And uh, it's looking like things might be the same today, though it could just be because I did just reset the time. But uh, either way, I'm not seeing any elk so far, but uh, we'll move up a little bit closer and see if that changes. Oh, it did change. We actually do have some elk here. Okay, so. I suppose we will end the video off by taking down this guy and then jumping into the trophy lodge and looking at that beautiful diamond and piebald. Let's just get a couple shots into that guy and then hop right over there. There is our final elk of the day, a beautiful level four light gray, 352 just barely made gold, but it still made it into gold. So. Let's go ahead and jump into the lodge and figure out where we're going to put both of these Rocky Mountain Elk. Well, since neither of these are going to be additions to our main lodge, we're just going to take a look at both of them in one of our secondary lodges. So this is the piebald and I got to say best piebald I have ever killed even better than the troll level five. This one just has a much nicer and cleaner look to him. And this is also a very nice looking diamond Rocky Elk. Definitely not the biggest one that we've ever killed, but it is one of the more unique ones with how the rack is shaped and it does look very good. And honestly, the more I think about it, I might end up putting it in the main lodge, replacing one of the 509s just because of how even and nice the rack is and how different it is from a lot of the other ones that we have killed. But either way, we got a couple of really nice Rocky Elk today, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're brand new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, click that like button, and ring that notification bell so that you guys will never miss any of the future uploads. With that being said, thank you all for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace!